The SRS CalKit is used to perform periodic thermal calibration of the APR Scorpion rework system. The frequency of calibration is based on the critical nature of the items being reworked. APR recommends annual calibration of the Scorpion rework system. This video will instruct you how to use the SRS CalKit Thermal Calibration Kit. Before beginning the calibration procedure, log in as Guru and access the System Configuration menu by left-clicking on the third menu icon. Reflow Airflow Calibration Insert the NZA SRS Cal Reflow Nozzle into the reflow head. Lower the reflow head and insert the airflow meter into the nozzle with the arrow at the end of the rod pointing down in the direction of the airflow. Ensure the meter is flush against the nozzle and perpendicular to the reflow head. Left click the reflow head airflow icon to activate the reflow blower and right click the icon to display the low airflow settings. Measure the low airflow setting with the airflow meter. Adjust the voltage on the screen by rolling the center mouse button until the airflow meter value is 3.4 plus or minus 0.2 meters per second. Left click the airflow head icon to navigate to the medium airflow setting. Adjust the voltage until the airflow meter value is 4.2 plus or minus 0.2 meters per second. Left click the icon to advance to the high airflow setting and adjust the voltage until the airflow meter value is 5.0 plus or minus 0.2 meters per second. Once more, left click to advance to the cool setting. Adjust the voltage until the voltage value is 0.5 volts above the voltage point set for the high airflow. Small preheater airflow calibration. Remove the preheater screen to ensure the preheater funnel is flush to the heater bowl. Once the funnel is flush, reinstall the preheater screen and place the NZA SRS Cal reflow nozzle on the preheater funnel. Insert the airflow meter into the nozzle with the arrow at the end of the rod pointing up in the direction of the airflow. Slide the board holder, if necessary, to allow the meter to be flush against the nozzle and perpendicular to the preheater funnel. Left click the small preheater icon to activate the small preheater blower and right click the icon to display the normal airflow settings. Measure the normal airflow setting with the airflow meter. Adjust the voltage on the screen by rolling the center mouse button until the airflow meter value is 6.0 plus or minus 0.2 meters per second. Left click the icon to advance to the cooling setting. Adjust the voltage until the voltage value is 0.5 volts above the voltage set point for the high airflow. Large Preheater Airflow Calibration Place the preheater airflow box on the thermal calibration fixture with the back of the box in the fixture cutout. Place the fixture directly over the preheater screen, completely surrounding the preheater grill. Left-click the large preheater icon to activate the large preheater blower and right-click the icon to display the normal airflow setting. Measure the normal airflow setting with the airflow meter. Adjust the voltage on the screen by rolling the center mouse button until the airflow meter value is 2.0 plus or minus 0.2 meters per second. Left click the icon to advance to the cooling setting. Adjust the voltage until the voltage value is 0.5 volts above the voltage point set for high airflow. Thermocouple calibrations. Turn on the K-type thermocouple simulator and set it to 250 degrees C. Left click the thermocouple calibration icon to display the TC1 thermocouple setting. Plug the thermocouple simulator into the TC1 external thermal socket and right click the thermocouple calibration icon to set TC1 to 250 degrees C. Left click the icon to advance to the next thermocouple and repeat these steps to calibrate all four thermocouples. Reflow heater calibration. Insert the thermocouple probe into the thermal calibration fixture. Center the thermocouple probe tip in the opening, tighten the thumb screw, and close the opening. Plug the probe into the TC1 input. Lock the thermal calibration fixture into the board holder and center the fixture over the preheater funnel. Insert the NZA 490-490 reflow nozzle into the reflow head and lower the reflow head to place the nozzle flush against the thermal calibration fixture. Use the fine adjustments to align the nozzle to the cutout if necessary. Start the reflow heater calibration profile by left-clicking the calibration profile icon. Go to the profile screen and wait for the calibration to complete.
Reflow Heater Verification. Allow the thermocouple to cool to 50 degrees C and set up the calibration fixture in the same position as the reflow heater calibration. Go to the profile screen and build the profile with the settings shown on the screen. In each zone, create a vertical line approximately two seconds before the end of the zone. Run the profile to verify that the temperatures are plus or minus five degrees C at the end of each zone. If not, allow the thermocouple to cool and rerun the calibration profile. Small preheater calibration. Once the reflow head has cooled down, return the head to the home position and remove the NZA 490 reflow nozzle. Keep the thermocouple probe plugged into the TC1 and centered in the fixture cutout. Keep the fixture in the center of the board holder and ensure that the probe tip is in the center of the small preheater. Start the small preheater calibration by left-clicking the small preheater icon. Go to the profile screen and wait for the calibration to complete. Small preheater verification. Allow the thermocouple to cool to 50 degrees C. Set up the calibration fixture and nozzle in the same position as during small preheater calibration. Go to the profile screen and create a profile with the settings shown on the screen. In each zone, create a vertical line approximately two seconds before the end of the zone. Run the profile to verify that the temperatures are plus or minus 10 degrees C from the end of each zone. If not, allow the thermocouple to cool and rerun the calibration profile. Large preheater calibration. With the thermocouple probe remaining plugged into TC1 and centered in the fixture cutout, slide the fixture to the front left corner of the preheater grill screen. Slide the fixture until the tip of the probe is just inside the heater bowl. Looking from the top, there is a visible border that should be used as a guide. Start the large preheater calibration by left-clicking the large preheater icon. Go to the profile screen and wait for the calibration to complete. Large preheater verification. Let the thermocouple cool to 50 degrees C. Set up the calibration fixture and nozzle in the same position as during large preheater calibration. Go to the profile screen and create a profile with the settings shown on the screen. In each zone, create a vertical line approximately two seconds before the end of the zone Run the profile to verify that the temperatures are plus or minus 10 degrees C at the end of each zone. If not, allow the thermocouple to cool and rerun the calibration profile. The SRS CalKit Thermal Calibration Kit verifies the thermal functionality of the Scorpion Rework System in order to optimize performance. For more information, please visit apr-rework.com.